prices because of the inflation crisis that they created. Yep. Will the Prime Minister stop his inflationary spending and stop the inflation tax? The Honourable Minister for Families. Mr. Speaker, let's talk about what the government is spending on. We're spending on the Canada Dental Benefit that is going to support hundreds of thousands of Canadian children access dental care. Mr. Speaker, we're spending on the Canada Housing Benefit, which is helping the lowest income Canadians pay their rent. To suggest that that is inflationary is absolutely absurd, Mr. Speaker. Then we are spending on the Canada Child Benefit, Mr. Speaker, that's helping nine out of ten Canadian families thousands of dollars a month so that they can pay for basic necessities. Mr. Speaker, we know what the Conservatives would cut if they were in power. But at the same time, um, there's a difference between mis and disinformation. Um, misinformation is me believing something and telling you what I think it is, but it's wrong, right? Disinformation is a concerted attempt to try and obfuscate uh, the truth and to try and confuse you. Why don't they stop making it worse, stop their out of control spending and stop their liberal inflation tax? The Honourable Minister for Families. Mr. Speaker, it's a bit rich coming from the member opposite that he wants to talk about supporting Canadians when every single chance he has voted against measures that support Canadians. Mr. Speaker, when they talk about uh, the spending that we have done, Mr. Speaker, that's thousands of dollars for Canadian families that are helping them with the high cost of living. Mr. Speaker, we know what would happen if the Conservatives were in power. They would abandon those most vulnerable Canadians who need that support. And when they're talking about taxes, they're talking about things that pay for EI. They're talking about things that pay for CPP. The thing Disinformation is a concerted attempt to try and obfuscate uh, the truth and to try and confuse you. Elections Canada, which, um, in, in my humble opinion, take it for what it is, uh, is the is the premier elections agency around the world, um, and you know administer our elections very very well, and we can be very confident in their ability to to do that. Um, the other thing that I would say is that um, you know there's there'll be the domestic shenanigans that uh, you know we have come to know too well and. Are what are very robust laws, and I think that's really, really important. So, um, you know, making it harder for uh, any actor, domestic or foreign, to um, do things that would not uphold the integrity of the election is an, another important thing that we did. Um, so, the protocol is strictly with regards to foreign interference. There are some occasions where um, the cybersecurity agencies may not have clear line of sight as to whether it is foreign or domestic, but they may have an inkling that it is foreign. There could also be cases where a foreign actor is using a domestic actor um, to get their message across. But um, you know, CSE does not look at Canadians, um, and so it would only
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I listened to my colleague's speech. I had a constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum, and he bragged how his subversive WWF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He's they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brez of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I we know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our actually young global leaders of the world economy right. forum. Said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know he was. I know the, uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there. But the honourable member for Timmins James Bay. Mr. Speaker, that member was promoting open disinformation. That's not debate. We have to call out disinformation. Uh, we'll get into debate again. Disinformation is a concerted attempt to try and obfuscate uh, the truth and to try and confuse you. This is freely available on the internet. Either nobody bothered to check mm -hmm. or more likely nobody cared. My biggest worry is for my country. The truth is I'm not a liberal or a conservative. I'm an institutionalist. I believe in this place and in my love of country, I yield to no one. But the darkness on the edge of town has spread to the main roads and highways and neighborhoods. It's now at the local bar and the bowling alley, at the school board and the grocery store. And it must be acknowledged and answered for.